Hello and welcome to the January 2021 edition of the Digitized Designs Webinar Wednesday. I'm Patrick Seyfert, Applications Engineer here at our Greenville, South Carolina office. Today I'm going to be showing off Artec's new HD mode for the EVA and the LEO. I've got some information for you about how to use this new mode along with some example scans with and without HD mode applied. After that, we'll show you two complete scan to mesh workflows on each of these parts here, one each with the EVA and one with the LEO, highlighting the differences that come with using HD mode. You should be able to submit in WebEx any questions you have along the way, and we'll answer those at the end. Let's get started. If you're not already familiar with Digitized Designs as a company, we sell 3D scanners and 3D scanning accessories, and we perform a myriad of 3D scanning services. We work with several vendors. On the 3D scanner side, we carry Artec, SolutionX, Scantech, and Vizu. Also in our lineup, Geomagic Software and ASUB Scanning Spray. HD mode is a new function for EVA and LEO scanners introduced alongside Artec Studio 15.1. To give the executive summary, it's an industry-first AI-powered algorithm for increasing the density and quality of raw data captured by each of these scanners. This enables higher maximum fusion resolution and the ability to scan things that were previously very difficult or impossible to capture. I may not be understanding it correctly, but I like to think about it like this. Artec took a very large amount of raw scan data from various scanners, as well as the finished cleaned up scans made from that data, gave all that to a computer, and asked it to think about it. They asked it to learn the difference between good and bad data and how to fill in the gaps where data is missing. Then they took that knowledge uh, that the computer learned and used that to teach Artec Studio how to apply that to improve scans that it's never seen before. Now it can better recognize bad data to delete, good data to amplify, and knows better how to fill in places data is missing. Using HD mode enables you to run EVA and LEO fusions up to a resolution of 0.2 millimeters, more than double the old maximum resolution of 0.5 millimeters. The HD reconstruction process also reduces 3D noise and improves reconstruction of fine and thin features like sheet metal edges, sharp edged machine holes, wires, and hair. It also decreases texture bias, uh, which is when false geometry would show up in a scan because of purely color contrast, like when you'd see a slight embossing of the logo on an otherwise smooth t-shirt in a person scan, for example. HD mode does require an NVIDIA graphics card with either two or four gigs of video RAM minimum uh, for the EVA and the LEO respectively. Highly recommended though are a CUDA compute capability of 6.1 or better and eight gigs or more video RAM. The CUDA compute capability of an individual graphics card can be found on NVIDIA's website. Also necessary is an Intel CPU and a minimum 32 gigabytes of RAM with 64 or even 128 recommended if you plan on scanning very large items or making use of the higher end of the reconstruction data density slider, which we'll discuss here in a few minutes. This small engine head is a great example of the same scan data before and after using HD mode. The fins and occluded areas between them became much cleaner and the smaller hex bolt heads have much more defined edges would be much easier to pull measurements or bolt locations from. Speaking of reverse engineering, looking at the same part from a new angle, you can see how much cleaner the holes on this side came in on the HD scan. If you've ever pulled a scan like this into Geomagic for SolidWorks, Geomagic Design X, or a similar reverse engineering CAD package, you know how much easier the HD scan would be to work with if you plan on extracting the sizes or locations of these holes. Here we have a before and after of a wicker basket showing how the combination of the 3D noise elimination and the higher fusion resolution gets rid of all the bad data and other small objects that would usually gum up a uh, watertight fusion of a scan of something this finely detailed. We see similar benefits here on this skeleton model, just much cleaner data making for a much cleaner mesh, especially around the rib cage. The scan of this automotive grill saw so much improvement, you could export it straight from Artec Studio and send it straight to a big enough 3D printer with no cleanup or reverse engineering like the non-HD version would need. Scanning people is always a popular application for the EVA and the LEO, and here you can see how HD mode improves the capture of the shape of the hair, as well as fine details on the face and the folds and thin edges of clothes. 
This brushed metal finished table would usually give a structured light scanner some trouble tracking or you need a coat of ASIM spray before scanning. But this mesh on the right was produced with an EVA and HD mode, no spray used, and just under 5 minutes of scan time. The first step for enabling HD mode on each of the scanners is done a little bit differently. Uh, for the EVA, there's a checkbox and a slider up at the top of the scan tab in Artec Studio, which we'll see here in, a, in action in a few minutes. Uh, on the Leo, there's a setting you can access on the Leo touchscreen called Record HD Data, which we'll set to something other than off when we want to enable HD mode. You'll notice in the lower picture, we can set this to any fraction uh, in eighth increments anywhere from zero and one. Uh, and that controls what proportion of that Leo data is going to get recorded in HD, anywhere from every eighth frame up to every single frame. Setting this higher can be better for smaller scans or, you know, when you want to capture the absolute maximum amount of data possible or when you're not concerned about your total project size or long processing times. For larger scans, if you set it lower, it can help keep the total size of that scan data under control while still letting you uh, reap the benefits of HD mode. Also helpful to accomplish this is this next setting under that uh, optimized project size. What that does is limit the rate at which the Leo is capturing data when you're moving the scanner less quickly uh, so you don't bloat your project with tons of redundant frames and data when you do that. With either the EVA or the Leo, you have the option to control how densely you want the data to be reconstructed. Uh, this clip on the left illustrates what a single frame of that scan data looks like at various densities, starting at 1x, going up to the maximum, which is uh, 36 times for the EVA and 64 for the LEO. You can see how even the lower density settings in like the 4x range uh, make a noticeable difference in data quality, but also how the higher settings produce absolutely massive data sets. This can be important to remember as this setting has a direct effect on how much uh, RAM and how long the reconstruction step is going to take in Artec Studio, as well as the final size of your scans, and therefore how much time and also how much RAM that Artec Studio is going to need to run your global registration and your fusions on them. The reconstruction time is also dependent on what specific GPU you're using, and some benchmarks comparing those, uh, some various graphics cards can be found on Artec's website. For our EVA HD workflow example, we're going to see a scan of a lawnmower wheel. As I mentioned earlier, enabling HD mode is done here at the top of the scan tab. And coincidentally, this is also where you'll set your HD data density slider. For this project, we set it at 4x. Once that's finished, uh, we scan as usual, taking one scan, flipping the wheel over, and scanning the other side. Once we're completely finished with scanning, we'll close the scan tab, and that's what's going to trigger Artec Studio to begin the HD reconstruction process. You can see the progress bar here at the bottom of the screen. When that's finished, we're going to be greeted with an extra copy of each scan labeled with HD, and we'll select only those and process them uh, mostly as usual with one final exception, being that the preset uh, drop down at the top of the tools tab is going to be set to EVA HD. Now we're going to run global registration on each scan on its own. We'll erase the turntable from each. We'll see rigid alignment, uh, final global registration run on both together, manual removal of some stray frames, and then sharp fusion resulting in our finished mesh ready for export. To show you HD mode on the Leo, we'll start off with changing the record HD data setting to a quarter and activating optimized project size. At this point, scanning is going to go identically to non-HD mode. We'll scan both sides of the small power tool housing. Once finished scanning, we'll plug the Leo up to Ethernet to connect the PC, as currently you can't move Leo HD data into Artec Studio via the SD card. Over in Artec Studio, we'll open up the Leo import dialog, select our project, and we're greeted with the Use HD Reconstruction checkbox and the Data Density slider.
We click import and here's where the HD reconstruction step takes place. Process these scans just like usual, again with the final exception that we make sure that the preset option on the tools tab is set to Leo HD. All right, so uh, if anybody's uh, got any questions, feel free to um, send them straight to either uh, either of the hosts or um, just throw them into the chat and we'll get them answered. I've got a couple here um, already that we'll go through. Um, how long does the HD reconstruction step take? Yeah, obviously the uh, those two scan examples, they were sped up just to show you the full workflows and the short of amount of time, um, and that, but the uh, actual time that that reconstruction process is going to take depends directly on, um, you know, how big your scan is and a couple other things. You know, what kind of graphics card. Some are better than others, processing a little quicker. Uh, but just for example, those two scans were a pretty reasonable size. They were about five minutes uh, for the HD reconstruction step to happen on those. Set at four x um, data density um, and a quarter. For the re record HD data on the Leo. Let's see. Uh, if you have the Leo set to uh, the HD mode, so if you have that record in HD setting and it's set to anything other than off, uh, the question was if you can actually, if you can process that without having to do the HD reconstruction, if you're just pressed for time um, or you don't want to, you're on a less powerful computer, you don't want to have to, you know, flex the um, your um, PC specs and everything during the post processing. And the answer is yes. Um, even if your scan was done with HD mode turned on, on the record HD data turned on, you just make sure that HD reconstruction box uh, check box is checked unchecked during the import data step um, when you're pulling that data into RTX Studio. And then uh, you'll just be the data that comes in will just be the regular standard definition, no HD uprising step. Um, does it help with uh, black and shiny surfaces? Uh, yes. So uh, that lawnmower wheel was a great example. Um, something like that would usually, especially the uh, shinier, um, like the part of the, the rim itself and not the the matte tires a little less shiny but the that rim would ordinarily give you a lot of trouble um you just get lots of noise and um, trouble uh, with global registration and alignment and without any spray or anything and it, that you saw how quickly that one went together um, so most definitely hd mode is a boon when it comes to scanning stuff that's dark and shiny That's like, I'll read that out. Uh, how is it possible to scan a large view with a Leo and then use the spider for detail within the original scan done by Leo? Um, I'll comment on that first and then uh, I'll let my colleague uh, answer the rest. The first thing is that the um, maximum resolution boost you get from this, the HD mode does get you pretty close to Space Spider um, resolution. You know, Space Spider is capable of down to 0 0.1 millimeter resolution. Um, so with this new Scan and everything in HD mode with the Leo will get you to 0 0.2, which is pretty close. But to answer that question directly, I'll turn it over to my colleague, uh, Bo. Hey guys, this is Bo Helmrich uh, with Digitize. Uh, yeah, as Patrick mentioned, the with the new HD mode, the Leo and Eva, uh, it approaches the resolution of the Space Fighter. Still not quite as good. The Space Fighter still has the best resolution. Uh, but I think Amir's question was more about combining space spider data with this new high resolution Leo and Eva data. 
Um, and yeah, that's still possible. Uh, you, you have the Space Spider data and the Leo or Eva data all in the same project within Artec Studio, and you can combine them and fuse them all together to take advantage of uh, the higher resolution in those, even higher resolution in those areas with the Space Spider. And I'll keep going on these questions. Randy's question at the beginning, uh, AMD video cards not supported at all. Um, right now, no. Uh, I believe that is something that's in the works uh, with Artex R&D. But yeah, right now it does need to be an NVIDIA specific card. And then Amir, back to you on your question about HD for Spider. Uh, no. Right now, HD mode is only for the EVA and the LEO. Um, not to give away too much insider info, but I do believe that uh, that is in the works for a possible update in the future. Anything else? All right, it looks like we might be good. Um, if anybody has any additional questions, um, you can always shoot them directly to uh, myself or Patrick. You can always send it to the uh, info at digitizeddesigns.com email um, if you wanna chat about anything directly. And I uh, appreciate everybody joining our webinar today. Thanks, Randy. Thanks for joining. Amir, I will answer that for you as we sign off, but uh, you could technically uh, use HD for a smaller detail uh, by isolating it uh, in the data. Um, typically, you would, you would do the whole scan in HD, uh, but there, there's some workarounds where you could do just a smaller area for sure. Yep, cool. All right, guys. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for joining. Thanks, everybody.